Hi guys, this is George back here with another vlog and today we are going to South Pier here in Blackpool and there it is. So as you can see, they do have a coaster credit here, the crazy coaster. It's just a normal Revachon spinning coaster. I've done quite a lot of these Revachon spinning coasters but there's another one here. This opened in 2018, so the same year that Blackpool Pleasure Beach got the amazing icon, they got a Revachon spinning coaster. I think I'd know which one I'd rather be going on. There's also a slingshot here, and there's a sky coaster. They're quite expensive though, they're 15 pounds per ride, so I'm, I'm gonna do one of them. I'm gonna do the sky coaster, as long as it doesn't break down. So here we go, we're just getting onto the pier now, and then let's go and get on some rides. Probably will be a bit of a shorter vlog, this one, but let's go. another one of the three piers here in Blackpool. We're on South Pier here. That's Central Pier right over there and then a bit further down is North Pier. This is the one with the most rides. There's a coaster credit here which I'm about to get on and um, there's a couple other rides. On there there's I believe that well, there's the Ferris wheel there and I believe there's a Miami wave and then on North Pier I believe it's only a carousel. But there we go, just over there, Central Pier, and then also you can see the Blackpool Tower right over there as well. As you can see, we're actually quite high up if you look, if you look down there. And then there's the beach over there. The crazy coast is here, which is what I'm about to get on. Someone's just gone on the slingshot there as well. And then there's the crazy coaster. No, it's not the crazy coaster, the sky coaster, sorry. I believe you are actually allowed to film on right here, however, I've left the GoPro at the hotel because I didn't think we were going to be coming here today, I thought we were going to be coming here tomorrow, so I've not got the GoPro, so unfortunately I won't be able to get any on-ride footage from the Crazy Coaster, but oh well, I've got footage of very similar rides to this before. An idea on the prices here for these rides, all of the rides are varied between two tickets and four tickets. So I believe one ticket is four pounds, one ticket is one pound. So the crazy coaster here, which I'm about to get on, is four tickets. And then the sky the sky coaster is 20 pounds. I thought it was 15 pounds from looking online, but it's actually 20 pounds, so it's quite expensive. These lower turns here, you start spinning on them. As you can see, this vehicle is spinning. At the, the first couple of corners on there, for the spinning part, was very, very good. Very fast spinning on there. But then when you got to about, about where this car is now, it loses that spinning a bit. And they've got quite a lot of spinning there, but I didn't have that much. About where, where they are now, there wasn't much spinning, it wasn't much of a spinning coaster. It did move around a little bit, but it wasn't exactly the most spinning one I've been on. But at least it's not Viking coaster at Edigelandia, because Viking coaster is one of those, but it has over-the-shoulder restraints for some bizarre reason. And that is awful with over-the-shoulder restraints. With a lap bar, it's so much more comfortable. When you came into the brakes, though, there was a little bit of spinning. I enjoyed it, it was a pretty good one. It wasn't the best one I've done. I've done quite a lot of these now. I've done most of them manufactured by Revachon. I've done a couple manufactured by Zamperla as well. So there we go. Nothing special that one. It's an okay ride. And it's a nice pier so far. But there we go. Crazy Coaster. I think I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Thank you. 
then guys, I've just come off the Sky Coaster. That was the first time I've ever done one of those. And it was really good fun. So it wasn't really how I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like a really intense drop, kind of like a drop tower. It's not actually that forceful. It's just really good fun. It's a lot higher. So you start to go up. The scariest part is probably actually waiting for it or going up because it is, it's a lot higher than it looks when you're on it than standing off ride. So then you go up and then they'll give you a thumbs up and then you pull this orange lever and you drop and then you just swing over the pier you get some amazing views of Blackpool Pleasure Beach on there as well where we were earlier today and there we go that was absolutely brilliant I absolutely loved that so then guys that is now the end of our visits to South Pier in Blackpool my first ever time visiting there and to be honest, well, with with obviously COVID-19, I didn't really see anything that I've never been there before. We need to we need to bear that in mind. But I didn't see anything that looks like it was put in due to the pandemic. They've done a couple of hand sanitizer stations when before you get on the sky coaster. So they make you go through a gate into what is like a little pen you have to put some hand sanitizer on straight away and then you'll wait in a queue but it's, it's basically benches so someone will be on one bench and there'll just be a line of benches and then you'll get your way to the front and then obviously that's when uh, you get your harness put on social distancing at the pier was atrocious there was a lot of people on the pier and it's a small pier as well it's not a very big pier there's a lot of stuff packed in to a small space so there's not very much space to move about it was completely packed full of people there were way too many people on there I th they should really be putting a limit on how many people are there and if they have put a limit on there then that limit is way too high because there were way too many people on there it was impossible to stay away from people everywhere the queues were spamming out onto the path um, well, there's not really a path, it's just kind of go wherever. There, there was people everywhere, very hard to socially distance from people because there were just way too many people and there were people that couldn't be bothered anyway but there's always going to be that group of people that can't be bothered and if that's you then make sure you are following the rules we finally got the theme parks back open if we want them to stay open we need to follow these rules and also it's not even just for that it is for everyone's safety so please just consider other people so there we go that is now the end of the vlog here thank you very much for watching make sure to follow me on instagram at george kelly roller coasters george william kelly and george kelly animals message me on snapchat at george kelly follow me on twitter at george kelly and check out my other youtube channel at wealthy eagle thank you very much for watching remember to like comment share and subscribe stay safe everyone and i will see you all later bye